yet. We've got we've got uh, time for one further question. I'll, I'll actually pass it over to you right here. Go ahead. You had your hand up the longest. Thanks, um, Mary Mata, Voice of America. This is a question. Of, I'm asking anyone on the panel about we, the press. Why do you think it's easier for us to cover things like rape as a tool of war in places like West Africa and other places um, around the world where it's been widely documented, <coughs> as opposed to some place like Iraq? One of the things that we have to face up to, and we see it very clear in the Bahamas Inquiry, is a historic British colonial savagery, if I can put it like that. The techniques that we were using in the Musa incident, hooding, stress positions, food and water deprivation, sleep deprivation, the use of noise. Those all go all the way back to mandated Palestine, through all the colonial wars, Cyprus, Malaya, Aden, Kenya, and into Northern Ireland. And you might think that when Ted Heath banned it in 1972, it stayed banned. No, not at all. If you look at what the British did in Iraq, it's a savagery. These Iraqi men simply did not exist. They had been completely dehumanized. Now, my take is one of the reasons the press are largely silent on all of this is we just don't want to face ourselves. That's my take on the, on the, on the British um, position and what we did in Iraq. You'd have to ask the Americans for their take. But I think it's important that there's a, a horrendous racism. And it's, we see it in the British Army. We see it very clearly in the Bahamas Inquiry. And I think we can see it very clearly in everything that is going to come out when we get this case heard next, next month. And again, I invite the British press particularly to pay attention to this case. It's important. Okay, we, we actually have a, a f one or two more minutes left. There was a hand over here. It was... Okay, go ahead. Secrecy is essential to empire. And what I was saying earlier was the United States right now, uh, no doubt is declining in various ways, but not in intention. And under Obama, as under Bush, we are moving more toward the British system of control of information, which is, after all, the Official Secrets Act, which is a legacy of empire, and we're, that torch is passing. The Republican administration, a Republican House and Senate, if that comes into being in the next month, is almost certain to pass a British-type Official Secrets Act, essentially ending leaks uh, of the sort we've seen over the last 40 years, 60 years, which means that WikiLeaks becomes more indispensable than it has been. It becomes the future of unauthorized disclosure. It will become more and more important to make these disclosures anonymously. And what has to be disclosed? Uh, as uh, <coughs> Julian was saying, honestly, uh, WikiLeaks is not sufficient. What we've seen so far is not what we need. It's only a beginning. It's not the Pentagon Papers, strictly speaking. We still need the Pentagon Papers of Afghanistan and of Iraq uh, on the decision-making and the accountability. But for that matter, the Pentagon Papers were very inadequate, too. They weren't the White House Papers, the CIA Papers. It took a generation to get most of those, and we haven't had any of it, really, on the later wars since. So what we need is uh, the closest to it, in a way, are the classified documents that were shown to Bob Woodward for his latest book. So uh, possibly uh, Woodward could contribute to the net all the documents he was shown, top secret. Uh, that would come close to being the Pentagon Papers or the White House Papers of Afghanistan. would be very worthwhile. Short of that, one of his researchers could give those documents to WikiLeaks, and that would be very worthwhile. And if not one of his researchers, somebody in the administration should give that type of material to WikiLeaks. Bradley Manning is accused of doing what he could at the field level, at the risk of his life, very admirably. He's a hero, in my opinion, to end this war. He did what he could. Uh, what's needed is for people who have access to information that will help us understand this war in a way that will enable us to stop it, to show us what they know with documents. And actually, WikiLeaks offers itself as the best vehicle for their doing that. Thank you. Um, I think, in fact, what we're going to do now is uh, 
not run a, a photo call which was booked here for simple reasons of time now because it's gone over quite considerably. But we have a short film produced by WikiLeaks to help to explain some of the technical issues uh, involved in reading the documents. It's a, a very short film but might be helpful to you um, because it comes from a knowledge of those documents directly. It should be up. Hmm? You cancelled it. Yeah. Oh. So, okay, well, you're not going to see it then. <laughs> this, is, this is the how to read the data. That's, that's the one. Yep. That's the one. So that's just the slides. Are we still doing that? Do we, uh, we, yeah. we still have this film, don't we? Slides. Ingi. Ingi. Did the film or not? Sarah? Do we have the slides? Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, okay. Sorry. It's going to happen. <laughs> Sorry. So, because we are so incredibly overloaded presently, you might not have actually seen this yet, but um, this is it. Warlogs.wikileaks.org. Uh, this is a, a souped up version of what we use uh, for... This is a souped up... This is... Warlogs.wikileaks.org, it is the interface to explore and analyze uh, these 400,000 uh, classified documents about the war in Iraq. It is a similar interface to what we produced subsequent to our initial release for Afghanistan, but a bit more sophisticated and able to handle um, many <coughs> tens of thousands of people simultaneously. Uh, so this is the website. You can see automatic graphing <coughs> of particular elements. You can search by keyword. Here's an example of uh, selecting one of the categories on the side that is produced by the US military. These are types, regions, attacks on type of units, and several other categories um, that are not produced by us, but they're the internal military categories. By clicking on these, uh, you'll see them appear here. These are Boolean. So this is an and, the records must have both of these. Type, criminal event, region, uh, Baghdad, this is multinational division Baghdad. And this is a list um, of reports with sort of keywords in context. The underscores uh, are redaction. And this is looking a bit further down on the side panel here. So you can see graphs um, the number of documents uh, for each one of the numerical fields. So civilians killed, date, host nation killed, host nation wounded, friendly killed, etc. Uh, quite, quite a few of these, very easy to use. <coughs> Here's an example of going into a particular record. <coughs> um, so bodies found in a car in the vicinity of Baghdad. Uh, you click on here, expand acronyms. Very important, otherwise this is almost completely unreadable. Um, and here it is in red, the things that are expanded in acronyms. Killed in action would have been KIA, uh, died of wounds, DOW. Uh, and on the left, um, the, uh, <coughs> the structured data uh, concerning this event. Um, and it will go down a bit. This one's quite interesting here. It's not often used, but this is critical incident reporting. It, Sometimes we'll include a field which is may cause international media reportage. So actually, if you want international media, something to report, you just hunt on this field and they've done part of the work for you in some cases. Obviously, some units where they are involved uh, themselves in a crime uh, don't like to uh, suggest that they have done so through the use of this field. <coughs> this is a slightly more interesting one, a, a full text search for OGA sometimes, appear, sometimes appears here as a type of unit. OGA stands for Other Government Agency. <coughs> it's an internal euphemism for the CIA uh, or the Defence Intelligence Agency, typically the CIA. Um, and so you can find uh, these CIA related records. Small arms fire attack on OGA convoy in Baghdad. Um, expanding the acronym is here, you can see this. Um, fortunately, the redaction is, uh, in fact, far, far too heavy. 
uh, but was necessary uh, to prevent any sort of political attack to distract from the real issue. Um, as, as time goes by and we work through this material manually, um, we will be able to decrease the uh, levels of redaction. But in this report, not too bad. It's, it's mainly uh, the names and some specific um, locations. Okay, fine. Yep. That's it? Okay, we're done. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs>